the four countries we have with us, uh, Republic of Korea, uh, Japan, Australia, and Singapore, uh, they arrived here with uh, certain disciplines uh, associated to their air forces. So we bring the four countries together to train uh, together and build the partnerships that we need in the event that we need to call on each other for battle. Uh, so that, in a sense, makes this very special. It makes it bigger than, than me, it makes it bigger than you. Uh, this is much larger than that. This is actually building an allied force. With the uh, training that I've learned here, as well as on the equipments uh, that were taught to me, I can take that back to Korea and upgrade our equipment, as well as upgrade our technical expertise as well. Uh, for the command and control module, uh, what we do is that we learn the different aspects of uh, airfield damage repair uh, and how to orchestrate uh, the different components to get the airfield uh, repaired and up to uh, a serviceable state and operational state. So that's what the C2 uh, learn, uh, which is good because now I get to see uh, every moving part that is required to get an ADR done. Good to be able to learn about the equipment that the U.S. Air Force uses that I don't have, uh, and also to be able to exchange knowledge and skills between the Korean and Australian forces as well as American forces. I feel it's very important to develop uh, relationships with uh, different different countries, especially in the Pacific, because we're all neighbors. We need to be able to work cohesively together. It was a little bit of a challenge at first to try to communicate. We did have translators in, in each class to be able to uh, translate the information to our students. The information that you're giving these, these uh, partner nations, they're taking this information back. And uh, so that's where the reality sets in. And, and I think that by the end of the week, uh, communication was no longer a barrier. Building these partnerships and these relationships that we're doing during this week, um, that's the most important you know, aspect to me. That I know that my family and you know, I will be safe after I retire from the military only because the U.S. Air Force is gonna remain you know, the, the best Air Force uh, in the world but we're going to be able to do that with our partner nations and allies becoming the best as well.